Virgo, you are up for the November Tarot Energy Reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Okay. So, this is the general reading. I'm doing the love reading about a week or so from now. And then I will do the money reading about a week or so after the love reading. Whatever reading you decide to watch or listen to, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading the energy and the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Now that I've said all that, I will start with my custom quote tarot deck. I'll take one card from that. I'll take one card from my Oracle deck. And then I will take a few cards from my regular tarot deck. All right, let's go ahead and get started. May I have the energy for Virgo for November? May I have the energy for Virgo for November? May I have the energy for Virgo for November? What is it that Virgo needs to hear? What is it that Virgo needs to hear? What is it that Virgo needs to hear? May I have a card, please? Thank you. Ah. Okay, I like this. The quote says, Concentrate all your thoughts upon the work in hand. The sun's rays do not burn unless, or should I say, until brought to focus. Alexander Graham Bell, I will read it again. Concentrate all your thoughts upon the work in hand. The sun's rays do not burn until brought to a focus. So what this is saying is that you have to be laser focused. And this is by Alexander Graham Bell. You have to be laser focused. And I'm hearing keep your head down is what I'm hearing. So yeah, let's take one from the Oracle. Energy for Virgo for November. Energy for Virgo for November. Energy for Virgo for November. What is it that Virgo needs to hear? What is it that Virgo needs to hear? What is it that Virgo needs to hear? May I have a card, please? This purification keeps on wanting to jump out. (laughs) Let's see. Okay. Wasn't really expecting that, but we'll go ahead and take it. That's the bottom of the deck. Security. Some of you might be thinking about your security. I just heard job security. Some of the job security may be on someone's mind. Um, Could be security in another way as well, like home security. Or, or what have you. Some of you could work in insecurity, but I'm not picking that up. Um, the two cards that came out is standstill and truth. So I feel with standstill and truth, there may be a truth coming out. It might be best for you not to say anything. For some of you, I feel that maybe you've tried to plead your case before, but it just, it didn't get, it didn't gain any traction when you were trying to make a point, when you were attempting to communicate what something was. And it's kind of crazy. There, for those of you who follow Twitter, there was an incident on Twitter with 
this rapper named Lotto, and then of course rapper Nicki Minaj. And it, obviously everyone's taking sides and whatnot. But the thing was, is that about 10 years ago, Lil' Kim said something about Nicki Minaj. Everyone thought she was crazy and that she was being old and bitter and all of this other stuff. And Lil' Kim said in one of the interviews that she did with The Breakfast Club, the Charlemagne, she said, you'll see. What's in the dark always comes in the light. Now, recently over the past 24, 48 hours, give or take, all Lil' Kim started trending on Twitter. The reason she started trending is because of what happened between Nikki and Lotto. And people were posting the clip of what she said. And then other people were saying, Lil' Kim tried to tell all of you. Because Lotto was um, doing the hashtag with Nicki Minaj, 40-year-old bully. The point of that story is this for your story. I feel like for some of you, you may have attempted to communicate something like Lil' Kim did, but no one paid her any attention. And I'm saying no one probably paid you any attention. But now there's a truth that's about to come out. There isn't really anything that you need to do. The only thing that you need to do is stand still. Because when you tried to communicate it and people weren't getting it, it was left at a standstill. It didn't gain any traction. It didn't go anywhere. But that truth is coming out. The only thing that you need to do is remain laser focused. That's all that you need to do. Focus on what you're doing. And then let the truth come out on its own. I might title this that. Let the truth come out on its own. So yeah. Let me go ahead and take a few tarot cards right quick. Energy for Virgo for November. Energy for Virgo for November. Energy for Virgo for November. What is it that Virgo needs to hear? What is it? that Virgo needs to hear? What is it that Virgo needs to hear? I'm going to set this one to the side. May I have a few cards, please? Thank you. That jumped out. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, some of you might be dealing with a boss or some of you are becoming a boss. But I feel like some of you might be dealing with the boss. Um, they could be an Aries or a Capricorn. Yeah, this whole thing is a wounded warrior situation. Because the Emperor came in. This is a lot of fire energy too. Emperor came out. So there's some type of structure. Again, Emperor can deal with security too. Again, Because some of you might be thinking about job security or some type of other security. Because it deals with structure as well. The things around you. Maybe there's something in regards to the economy that might be having you given the side eye. Maybe something happened to the 401k. Maybe it's not as high as it used to be. Whatever. There may be something involving security somewhere in your life. Wounded warrior is here like, okay, I've really been through the ringer. Two of wands is here about, okay, a choice has to be made. What's going on for the long term? Because that's what this is about, the long term. And that's what you've been looking at. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Cups. So there's been this energy where, where there's been some unhappiness. And I feel it's because of the truth that has been, I would say, silenced or not heard. And the card that I picked, set to the side, yeah, Two of Swords. So something was blocked. Again, I feel like your voice wasn't heard. What's under the Five of Cups? Four of Swords. Sitting back, taking a break. The Devil card. The King of Cups, which is Scorpio energy. The King of Wands. Fire energy. The Star, healing. Seven of Pentacles, investment. Seven of Cups, options. Six of Cups. Actually, no. Four of Cups. offer there's deception going on there's also fear but there's going to be justice and it's going to create a new offer for you and your family 
whatever this is, if anything negative happens, you're going to have a second chance. You'll get a second chance to fix whatever it is. So don't worry about it. Like I said, let the truth come out on its own. And that is your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Till next time, be blessed.